My name is Bruce Chasse. My father was Ralph Chasse, a man who wore many hats. He was an artist, a puppeteer, an actor, a musician, and a writer. His whole world revolved around his art. This is what he had to say about the artist. Only man's art can tell us how he looked, how he felt, how he lived. An emotion takes on a definite form in a painting, a sculpture, works on paper, or a work of architecture. They all become the visible soul of man. This should be sufficient reason to justify the existence of the artist. My father, born in 1900, was a native of New Orleans and of Creole ancestry. His great-great-grandmother was Justine Olivier, a free person of color who produced 11 children, uh, all of whom were connected to some of the most important Creole families in New Orleans, such as Dubuclet, Honoré, and they were all civil rights activists before and after the Civil War. Outside of a very brief time spent at the Chicago Institute, and an apprenticeship in theater design at Le Petit Theater. He was essentially a self-taught artist. He had no formal training. His family left New Orleans in 1928 and resettled in San Francisco, and they went passe blanche. They passed for white. In his denial of his African-American heritage, he became somewhat reclusive and lived totally within the world of art, the most sustaining element in his life and where he felt safe. He and his family spoke always of New Orleans, but never about race or their encounters with Jim Crow and the disenfranchisement of blacks and Creoles after the Civil War. Few of these works on paper were accessible to the African-American community down through the years. It's always been my desire to introduce my father's works on paper to persons of color. For that reason, with your help, I would like to create a traveling exhibit of Ralph Chassé's works on paper that could tour to African-American museums and community centers in places like San Francisco, Los Angeles, New Orleans, Chicago, Detroit, and New York. I need your support to reach our goal. Not only am I asking for your financial support in this campaign, I'd like you to be part of my core support team. Because many of the paper pieces were done before 1950, they will need conservation and mounting. This can be expensive. One paper piece can cost from $100 to $300. You can be a part of bringing Ralph's art and legacy to people around the country by doing two things. Please donate. The average donation is $60, but any amount helps us get one step closer to reaching our goal. We've included some very special rewards for you that related to Ralph's art, puppetry, and artistic vision as a way to show our gratitude for your help. Also, please share this project with your friends, family, and anyone you know who's interested in art and African-American history. With your help, we can bring my father's work to thousands of people who wouldn't have the chance to see it otherwise. Thanks in advance for your generous support. This is Bruce Chassé. Son of Ralph Chassé, thanking you again.